Hey developer and welcome once again to another of Code World video. One of the most known limitations of Paint.net is the inability to work with the scalable vector graphics. You will need to work always with the known formats as GPG, PNG or GIFs. Fortunately, there's a way to import this kind of files through a plugin. In this video, we will explain you briefly how to install the plugin that will allow you to import images in SVG format easily in Paint.net so you can easily edit them as portable network graphics. Paint.net allows implementation of plugins that add new effects, adjustment and file type features to the application. It includes by default the most common filters, adjustments and file types as well. To add support for SVG images, you will need to download the latest version of the SVG file type plugin, visiting the releases area of the source code repository of the plugin. You will find the download link in the description of the video. On the assets area, download directly the svg file type .dll file. Remember the location of the downloaded file as we will need it on the next step. Now, to install a plugin, you need to add the dll file in the file types folder in the installation directory of paint.net. This path varies according to the way of installation. For example, in our case, it will be located in the program files directory, as we used the regular installer. Find the folder, and once you have it, simply place the downloaded SPG file type.dll file in there. Finally, start paint.net and now you should be able to import files with the SVG extension in your canvas. Initially, the plugin prompts for basic information about how you would like to import the images, either with the same resolution of the size given in the SVG file if it should be imported as a flat PNG, import as layers or by groups, which is an experimental feature. In our case, we will scale the SVG to a PNG image of 5000 pixels. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time.